Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Joining us virtually is um, the veteran Regina Askia Williams and her two beautiful daughters. I mean, we're going to have a lot of fun on this one. Hello, Regina. Hello, how are you? Hello, Nigeria. It's Hello. fun spending time with you this morning. Mm -hmm. I wonder what time it is there. This is um, evening, afternoon, evening. We yeah. are still battling between deciding if it's four o'clock that is evening or five o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> So how, how is the lockdown going? Oh, wow. I think everybody's losing their minds over the lockdown. But um, the, the reason for the lockdown, you know, it's working out. We are seeing uh, the curve go down, less infections, less people getting admitted with COVID in the hospital. So it's working. It is actually working. Um, but people, you know, they are not made to be put in one spot, not able to go out. And, you know, that is not fun. You know, so everybody's trying to fashion out ways to keep busy, you know, and cope with the lockdown. You are a frontliner, and I mean, we need to, we actually need to clap for you yep. on that one. Well, well done. done. Well and a good done. job. Well done. How is well it done. like to battle this um, <laughs> virus on our behalf? Thank you. Thank you so very much. Yes. It's, um, it's frightening, but uh, we thank God for his grace, you know, giving us the courage to go out there and do what we must do. Um, in service to, you know, to humanity and in, in line with our calling. So it's a good thing. It's a good thing. We thank God for his grace. Okay, this is where Ifeo Mind takes over. Okay, hello. Uh, okay, so you were on the internet, trending on the internet for a game that you played with your beautiful children. Um, so we wanted to steal you again and personalize it for tea time because I felt like it was very short and we had a, we had questions that we wanted to ask you personally. So please indulge us in in that for a few minutes. Is that okay? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, so I'm just gonna go straight into it. I'm looking down because the notes are here. So who is the mommy's baby? Um, you can't. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me give you the rules really quickly. You cannot, okay. you cannot speak. Oh, it's pointing the hands, just like you did in the games, and then we will talk about that after. Okay. <laughs> after the okay. show, okay. So, who's yeah. the mommy's baby? Who takes the longest to get dressed? <laughs> Who is the social butterfly? <laughs> Who is the homebody? <laughs> Who is most likely to run for president? I want to know this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Who is most likely to get homesick first? Okay. Homesick. 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 Oh. Yeah, homesick. Okay. Oh, I, you don't want to come home. I mean, okay, no talking, no talking. <laughs> Who is the most misunderstood? He needs that. Who is that nonconformist? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one is a bit tricky, but who gets the most trolls on social media? Yeah, yeah for sure. Mm -hmm. And lastly, who is most likely to sell their birthright for food? <laughs> Tisa, it's like you do everything. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That was fun. So, so who would you say has more of your personality? I'm putting you on the spot now, Regina. Yeah. Um, the person that has uh, more of my personality would be Tisa. <laughs> Hello. Hi. All right. It will be Tisa because we are forward people, we're loud people, we have to get heard, we put our points across. And it doesn't matter whether we get trolled or not, believed or not, it doesn't matter. You speak your truth and you stand by it. That's right, Mom. <laughs> uh, hello, ladies. Hi. Hi. Thanks for joining us. All right. So um, I know the lockdown has been kind of torrid it's been crazy but we've also learned a lot of um lessons as well COVID-19 has taught us a lot so individually I would like to know the greatest lesson each one of you has learned in this period starting with who uh let's start with Tisa 
Oh. Okay, Teresa. Well, that, that you can stay home actually and enjoy your company, right? That would be one of the lessons. Let's, let's, ha let's, let's her speak. <laughs> let's her speak. One of the greatest lessons I've learned is just to be more thankful for the fact that we're all here and that we could live the way that we do. I'm very grateful that my mom is a nurse and she's very informed about this virus and what you could do to help, you know, help yourself and just to be safe. So I'm happy to be knowledgeable about the whole situation. And I'm very grateful for the time I have because a lot of people have been affected by this virus and we're just all really lucky that we haven't had to deal with it. And I'm so happy that none of my family members were affected. So yeah, I'm just a lot more grateful to be here. And I try to use my time a lot more wisely. All right, so on to you, Regina. Yes, oh, me? Yes. You. Okay, um, you see, not to take life so seriously and, and find time for the small stuff. You know, every day we wake up and we just go. And then, um, when you see people in the hospital, you realize that, you know, we all take so much for granted. Even our health, we take it so for granted. Somebody walks into the hospital and the next time they are being rolled out on a gurney with a tag on their toes, they have died. So um, you wonder, you can't help wondering if this person was able to, you know, um, enjoy their lives, really. Did they stop to smell the roses? Did they spend time with loved ones? Did they take time out? for themselves to really enjoy, you know, the life God gave to each and every one of us. So I realized sharply that you could really be here today and gone tomorrow. So that the time you have on earth, please um, take time out and really spend time with the people you love. Enjoy your life, enjoy yourself and do, don't put things away for tomorrow. Do what you can do. Enjoy now and live life to the fullest. All right. See, so I'm not going to dance. There is nothing I'm not going to do. You know, when this passes, when we're able to go out again and enjoy God's sunlight and all that, you know. Yeah. I think right. life has taken a, a, a sweeter tang after now, right. you know, when you realize that. All right, thank you. So, Steph, the spotlight is on you. So I would say um, the importance of a healthy lifestyle yes. is just realizing that what you put into your body really does affect you because people who are the most affected are those who don't necessarily have a, have a healthy lifestyle. And also, of, of course, like they said, to be grateful for the present moment that we have now, to be grateful to be alive, to be grateful to have our loved ones around. So. Nobody said to be grateful for spending time with mommy. Mommy's very busy. Uh, okay, thank you, mommy, for spending time with us. And then... Um, yeah. Um, thank you all for doing tea time with us this afternoon or morning, as the case may be in your country. Right. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.